Hey, it's Mike with Iceberg Gaming with today's episode of the Noob Gold Challenge, your step-by-step -step beginner's guide to making gold on a new server. I know I said I wasn't going to do a Noob Gold Challenge this week, and this video is going to be a little shorter than usual because uh, this is just too too good to share, too good not to share. I pretty much took the entire week off from World of Warcraft. I didn't do any leveling, and I did almost zero farming. I only did a half hour of farming to do my video that I was I posted this week on the Wild Vine. That is the only farming I did this entire week, and we still ended up with 60,000 gold in our inbox this week. That's pretty awesome. So let's take a look at what we've got. So we've got some icy dragon scale from uh, from my guide on how to level up Northrend skinning. Some Ajara's Veil, Mithril, Goldthorn. Um, Wild Vine is from that farm. It's the Wild Vine farm. Link in the description and also it will appear in the top right corner. Got some engineering items from leveling up engineering. And I accidentally sold more of my Dark Moon Firewater. I keep doing that. I really need to be more careful. Spider Silk from our price alert a couple weeks ago on Spider Silk. Again, link in the description and also appearing in the top right. Some of our Cobra Scales from our Snake Farm finally sold. And that will be in the description as well. All the farms that I do will be in the description. Uh, that the, the farms that I do for this week will be in the description and uh, I will put the ones of note up in the top right and we also have some spirit of harmony I have gone back to my heart of fear farm uh, that's one of the first videos I've not, uh, towards the beginning of my channel I posted that it's for raw gold and um, spirits of harmony in the heart of fear check that video out as well uh, we had some sales from our engineering level up once again. This Grom's Blood is again from that Wild Vine farm that I mentioned earlier. The Borean Leather is also from leveling Northrin Skinning. Um, this is the second chunk of Goldthorn for the week. That's finally selling again. The Goldthorn, the price was really good for a while. And then it tanked after I made a video on it. And now it's finally recovering a little bit. So I'm glad to see that. Dreamfoil has also tanked since I made a video on that as well. Got a very nice transmog sale in here. Another good transmog sale. There was another small transmog earlier in the mill locks. We also had a wormhole generator from leveling up engineering once again. Uh, some dread phantom, dread fang venom sacks from our uh, spider lisk farm from a few weeks ago. Let's put that into the description as well. And last but not least, a oh, we got a couple more small transmog sales in here. Another transmog sale, a pet in there. Uh, last but not least, a nice chunk of our titanium from our winter's grass farm, which is something we do almost every week. And so that that wraps it up. I'm I'm really surprised at how much gold we made this week, considering I did zero farming. That's passive income, baby. So let's go ahead and open this all up, and we'll get our new gold gold total. So we were at one, we were at one million fifty thousand gold before. So this should put us just over uh, a, a one point one million now. Yep, 1.1 million. So that's passive income, baby. You gotta get those auctions listed up and then you basically can just sit back and let the gold roll in. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week.